Hello and welcome back to 30 days and just a few minutes to having an amazing birth. Your host with you, Israel Maya, on day number 21, where today we're going to be talking about how much more important it is, like I said yesterday, thousands, 10,000 times more important to relax mentally than it is physically. Now we talked about the importance of relaxing physically to have an amazing birth. Why is it so important? Well, of course, because the muscles in the center of the body relax, the muscles in the back relax, and it makes it much easier for the contraction to happen more effectively. In other words, you have a more effective contraction the more your muscles relax because the body doesn't work against resistance. Not only that, but it also diminishes the amount of discomfort that your body has because your baby is not pushing against and trying to push through tense muscle. The problem with relaxation is that when we physically relax, we don't usually or all the time mentally relax. Mental relaxation is much more important than physical relaxation. Why is that? Well, when you physically relax, all you have to do is let go of the muscles of your body. But your mind keeps going. You think about things that you're supposed to do, you're thinking about things that you're doing or things that you did in the past, and your body can get tense all over again. So you have to relax the mind as opposed to the body. Why? Because when you relax the mind, you automatically and guaranteed have physical relaxation. Think about the last time you daydreamed. When you daydreamed, if you had some type of discomfort in your body, it just went away. You didn't pay attention to it. Remember the story that I told you yesterday concerning the lady that had broken her tibia bone. When her friends were visiting her, she wasn't taking her medication because she, her mind was off of the physical discomfort. So when your mind is relaxed, your body is almost disconnected. It's still there, but your body's almost disconnected from what your mind is doing. It doesn't tense up the body and you're not thinking about any physical discomfort. This is why, my dear expectant mom, it is so much more important to relax mentally than it is physically. Your mind relaxes, your body relaxes automatically and without any effort, you diminish discomfort and the contraction is much more effective. So what are good forms of mental relaxation? Well, meditation is one of them. Hypnosis is another one. I've talked about my course, the Painless Childbirth course. If you go on to www.painlessbirth.com and log on to my website, you'll be able to find out much more about what the Painless Childbirth course is about and how it helps you and focuses on mental relaxation as opposed to physical relaxation. Because remember, when you mentally relax, you automatically physically relax without any effort. That's it for today. And tomorrow we're going to be talking about why it's impossible to make yourself relax even mentally. But Israel, you just got through telling me how important mental relaxation is. That's right. But it's impossible to make yourself mentally relax. I'll talk to you about it tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. Now, just before you go, I'm going to ask you to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm also going to ask you to visit my website, painlessbirth.com, where you can find out and purchase the Painless Childbirth course. Now, that's a special course that I prepared, especially for expectant mothers like yourself, in order to help them achieve and accelerate the process of having an amazing birth. My course will teach you how to deeply relax on command while you're completely aware of what's happening in your surroundings while you're having your contractions. It will teach you how to control pain with your mind, release the fear of birthing, and will also help you use your imagination in order to have a better birth than you possibly imagined. And as the commercial says, but wait, there's more. Because in this course, I've included a one-hour program that's going to help you fall asleep faster and easier and will continue giving you positive suggestions as you sleep. And I've also included a program that you can use the actual day that you're having your baby. There's so much more to this course and it has helped women achieve an absolutely amazing birthing experience. And I want you to be one of them. That's why I'm asking you to go to my website, painlessbirth.com, and you can check out the Painless Childbirth course. I want to tell you how much I appreciate you taking my 30-day course, and I look forward to working with you with the Painless Childbirth course.